Hey, we're here. We're at ComCone 2024 down here in Savannah, Georgia. First day, and it's amazing. Believe it or not, as soon as I walked up, I saw one of the guys, that, uh, the first guy ever try to halfway mentor in the ice cream business. Him and his friend is here. They got two stores. They're running good. I'm going to get a video with them later this week. But uh, we're here, and people are showing up. It's going to be a great time. And uh, believe it or not, it's very similar to the Italian ice cream and actual, uh, 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 appliances are very, very similar. Hey, how you doing? This the Soup School. How you doing? Good to see you. Mate, look at you guys, huh? <laughs> we love having you here. Everybody that's watching this, we love having you here. The number one biggest ice cream trade event in the country. Take it in. Yes. yes. Take it in. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank good, to, you good to have you here. You too, thanks. Here we go. We got Mo here. Uh, how you doing, Mo? Hi, everybody. I'm Mo from Park Circle Creamery, located in North Charleston, South Carolina. We have two locations. We are at 2507 North Main Street in Somerville, South Carolina, and we're at 1069 East Montague inside North Charleston. I've been in the ice cream game for about eight years now. Mr. Sneed, it's an honor to meet you. And for everybody out there that loves ice cream, loves anything about the business, I'll tell you, keep scooping, keep grinding. It's worth it. Now, I got a question. Uh, now, he's giving me some, he, 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 in two minutes, he solved what I came here for. <laughs> how to make my milkshake. He had solved it in, in two minutes. Now, how did you get into the ice cream policy, ice cream business? So, funny story. I was, I'm a disabled combat vet. Oh, and I was, oh, thank you. And I was working at a used car lot. And I was the finance manager and I was stressed out. And my brother came up with the idea of ice cream shop uh, two blocks from my old high school. I said, no, man, I'm not interested. So he calls my mom, our mom, and told our mom how hard-headed and stubborn I was being, <laughs> right? So my mom calls me and tells me, just read the information. So I read it and I went to Scoop School where Steve Christensen was uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. And the first lesson was the history of the vanilla bean. I fell in love with the vanilla bean. It blew my mind that the Brits stole the vanilla bean from Mexico and couldn't harvest the crop in England, so they took it to Madagascar and Indonesia. So much so that it affects the world trade market to this day. Like for me, I'm a geek with history. That, that blows my mind. But that's what got me into ice cream. All right, thank you. Uh, and uh, if people want to follow you, do you have a way they can follow you? I'm simple. IG Ice Cream 843. I'm easy to find. Again, my name is Mo from Park Sucker Creamery. Look forward to seeing you. All right, Brent McFarland, how y'all doing from New Orleans, Louisiana, by way of Indiana? We have Pralines. I'm from Pralines Deluxe. We offer uh, the Praline candy for the, that, that goes in the ice cream. We also offer a Praline dust, a cinnamon Praline dust that goes on top and can be mixed in the ice cream. So if you want me, pralinesdeluxe.com. That's the website right now. Of course, that's going to change here in a second as soon as I get a, a new website. <laughs> <laughs> but at any rate, thanks for having me, Mr. Sneed. It's a pleasure meeting all you guys, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have some fun while we're here. All right, there you go. Hey everyone, my name is Jessica Griffin. I am out of Jacksonville, Florida, and the name of my ice cream company is Scoops of Favor, and we specialize in lactose-free ice cream. <laughs> so that's how I got into the business. 65% of the population are lactose intolerant, including myself. So I wanted to do something where people can fall in love with ice cream again, and all we serve is lactose-free ice cream and vegan ice cream, that's it. So that's my specialty. And I am looking forward to this conference. I can't wait to learn so much and meet so many new people. Now, how long have you been in business? I've been in business for a year and a half now. There you go. You're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's been a pleasure. There you go. Good stuff. Are you out of Baltimore, Maryland? I'm out of Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Only two hours away from Savannah. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, you've been here all day. Is this your first time coming to a, a, a con con? No. You've been to con con before? Yes. Okay, what do you think about it? I love it. It's very it's very informative. You see so many different people. You meet people from all around the world. And you learn a, a lot from different cultures and upbringings. Mm -hmm. We thank you for coming out. Can you help us out telling us where to go eat and kind of things to do? Some of the favorite places here, I would say, would be the Pink House. Mm -hmm. um, the Ellicott 
Lincoln Pelicans. Uh huh. Uh, 520 Wings. Uh -huh. And uh, some of these Savannah locals, I would say, would be. Um, Good Friday. Good Friday. Okay. All right. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, go. Hi, I'm Ron Sellers. I'm with Sellers Premium Ice Cream. I am a small batch ice cream um, that's just getting started out of Alameda, California. This is my second year here at ConeCon, and I am just trying to absorb and learn as much as I can. Um, there's so many stories here, and I'm just trying to follow the suit. All right, now how did you get into ice cream? I started this back in the early days of the pandemic. So I don't come from a lineage of ice cream makers. I'm doing this all out of my kitchen, having just explore, explore what I can do from a flavor profiles. Most of my ice creams are adult centric, uh -huh. meaning I cater to um, basically ro local restaurants at the moment. But eventually I want to have my own retail store. Okay, so you actually wholesale. Yes, I do a wholesale at the moment, yes. Uh, do you do like mobile parts or anything, or any events? No, 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 no. Just wholesale? I just wholesale it. Occasionally, I will do an event where I'll um, drop off ice cream mm -hmm. for friends, family, this kind of thing, for a small gathering. Mm -hmm. But again, my ice creams are more adult-centric, mm -hmm. so I don't do the strawberry, vanilla, chocolate. I do things that are more geared for adults. There you go. Good stuff. Thank you. Enjoy, your, enjoy the coffee. Oh, thank you very much. Sarah. I have been in ice cream since I was 15 years old. And I started scooping at a little ice cream shop. I scooped all through high school and college. And now I am with Chocolate Shop Ice Cream and I've been here for 19 years. So it's been 27 years of ice cream in my life. Are you one of the owners of Chocolate Shop? So I'm married to this guy who is... <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Okay, we, but now we're now. Okay, I got I got to go back now. Yeah. <laughs> now the chocolate shop, they're they're on the level of like Hershey's. They, they, oh they're my su God, They're no. supplying your ice cream and ship it out to you. Great yeah. ice cream. Everybody I know talk to about the uh, uh, chocolate shop. They say chocolate shop has Thank great you. ice cream. Thank you. So y'all oh, ship worldwide, uh, 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 United uh, States, nationwide, yeah. nationwide. Yeah. Nationwide. yeah. Send out ice cream stores. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna back back out and let y'all finish. By the way, let everybody know. I think I was talking to chocolate shop. <laughs> there you go. All right. So there you go. All right. Well, I'm Dave. Dave Dudman with Chocolate Shop Ice Cream, and uh, I was born into it. My parents started it in 1962, mm. and I worked there all growing up. Did my own thing for a few years in the finance and accounting world, and mm. been back at the manufacturing plant for almost 30 years now. So, pretty much in my blood. This is what we do. Make Good ice stuff. cream. Good stuff. Now, all y'all yeah. together. Yes, chocolate we are. Shop. Yeah, all chocolate shops. Yeah. So I've been with the and company. Marquise. Yep, and Marquise. Yeah. I met Marquise. Marquise yeah. will yeah. deliver the ice cream yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah. 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 so I've been with the company for 15 years, and that's my first entry into ice cream. So I've worked in the ice cream shops and scooping and worked with wholesale. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. How long you been, Marcus? I've been in ice cream for 17 years uh, with Chocolate Shop. You know, done every job there just about. Yeah, uh, but now, I'm, now I'm driving a semi and bringing out a good product here. <laughs> good stuff. Good yes, stuff. sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, I'm Deke Tasker. And I'm Cassie Tasker. We own Rosie's Handcrafted Ice Cream in Buffalo, New York. And we've been in ice cream now. We came to our first conference in 2018, opened our first shop in 2021, and we just opened our second shop in uh, last month. Okay. So it's uh, it's been awesome so far. Yeah. We make all of our own ice cream, all the inclusions that go into it, and we have a ton of fun doing it. And what made y'all get into ice cream? I mean, who doesn't love ice cream? <laughs> uh, we we both grew up loving ice cream and going to ice cream with our families. Um, you can tell them about your lavender ice cream that you made back in the day. Yeah, so 2011, It's Complicated came out, and they had a lavender ice cream. Meryl Street making ice cream. Meryl Street, mm -hmm. and uh, that was my first. My mom bought me an ice cream maker. I made the lavender ice cream, and then after that, we just kind of played around a little bit with some kind of not-so-familiar flavors and developed into a profitable business. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. We uh, yeah. we always go to for chocolate malls with my grandpa. So we both just loved ice cream, yeah. and to, to have a shop where we can hand a cone over and see that smile is just it's amazing. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Thank you all. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Good stuff.
Okay. Here we go. Hey man, I'm Joey with Golly G's Ice Cream and Ref Mark Container Company. I uh, started uh, Golly G's back in 2016. First year we we bought our ice cream from a local manufacturer and uh, I just knew we could do it, uh, if not better. Uh, and 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 we just we just kind of jumped off the cliff there and and dove in and started playing with flavors and uh, it's it was the best thing we ever did for our business uh, we, we i love to be creative with our flavors really make the the uh the, what i think is the best ice cream in our area um it's just a it, it's a passion of mine and i just love it's such a rewarding experience to be able to create something and see people enjoy it the way that that they do and also this is who I buy my boxes from. So That's it, man. Yeah, yeah. Wrap Market Container boxes. Company. Yeah. yeah, we buy our boxes from here. I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank Thank you. You. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm Russ Bailey. I'm the head chef at Sir Bailey. This is our first Cone Con, so we're here to see what this is all about. Uh, I started Sir Bailey because I understood the uh, demographics of individuals that suffer from lactose intolerance and I wanted to be that space for them to have a sweet dessert that is also delicious. Uh, we're based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. We're excited to be here and thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Hello. So I am Danielle from Karen's Creamery. Karen, right over there is my mom. She's the owner of Poverty. Hey, and uh, how are you? <laughs> she has been in business for over 28 years, and that's because we have the best award-winning ice cream that you can try. It's all homemade premium ice cream. Um, it has sustained all of the pandemic. We do wholesale ice cream through all of Arizona, Prescott, and Tucson. A lot of us, a lot of our shops are private labels. Um, but yeah, this is my first time at Cone Con, but they're like has been around since it first started and so I'm excited to find out and learn from others and just keep expanding. Alright, thank you. That's where we are. Your thumbs up. My name is Basha. My name is Lucas and we are both from Holy Cow Creamery. Outer Banks of North That's Carolina. Right. Um, Go ahead. We've been in the business for four years now and it's been a wonderful ride. Uh, Mr. Mike behind the camera was the first professional ice cream maker who was able to help us and set it up idea and provide us all phenomenal tips how to start how to do uh, how professional people do uh, we are very thankful for mr michael uh, and this is our second um, ice cream convention and we just love it here everybody's so helpful and uh, so many great resources um, yeah Guys, Happy don't don't think twice. Just do it. Yeah. Good luck. And how many locations do you have now? We have two. two. We have one yeah. in Kill Devil Hills and one in Dak of North Carolina. Love it. Way Thank to go. you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm Petrushka, and I'm joined here with my husband Nick, and we own Sugar Hill Creamery in New York. We have five stores, and we've been operating since 2017. And actually, the reason why we opened is because our neighborhood in Harlem did not have a small batch ice cream shop. So we were filling a culinary gap. And my husband's background is in hospitality. I worked in museums, organizing exhibitions and community programs. So a perfect marriage. A perfect marriage for creating an ice cream company. Community and ice cream. That's right. I'm Zach with Zach's Creamery in Southern Indiana. And we started, once again, there was no ice cream place in our area. We're in a really, really small area. A uh, small town, but don't count those areas out. Those are good places. Everybody needs an ice cream shop. So, uh, yeah, having a passion for that and having a passion for people. Yeah. Yeah. You, is, is an ice cream, frozen dessert ice cream business, is that something you would tell other young couples or aspiring entrepreneurs to get to? Only if you want to work. Okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> you want to get into this work? Then open an ice cream shop. You know, you love your community, open an ice cream shop. But it is not for the faint of heart. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you all. Thank you. Keep camera person. I'm Robin and my husband David. We own Dulce Panda Creamery in Weatherford, Texas. We've been in business for two and a half years. And we make all of our own ice cream. And um, it sparks joy every day, seven days a week. Uh, nobody's 
nobody's sad, nobody's mad. Um, you see people from pregnancy to running in your store. It's it's complete joy every day. We love it. What made y'all get into the homemade ice cream business? Oh, yeah. Man, I needed joy in my life so hard. <laughs> yeah, that, the desk job drove me there. Uh -huh. Yeah, and who doesn't love ice cream? It's like a childhood memory. You remember going with your grandparents. You remember going with your, you know, your family. Like it, it's just a long-term memory. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna move right on along. <laughs> All right, uh, Bella and my mom Stephanie okay. from Fairway, Kansas. Been in the business for four years. Um, I got in the business yeah, to work with my parents. Okay. Make everything in house. Uh, you walk in a stranger, you leave a friend. There you go. Yeah, That's we what we say. We're building a community place <laughs> for community to gather and, and experience joy. There you go. Now, are you in a big population town or is it a small town? Kansas City is pretty. It, we're in a suburb of Kansas City. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah, stuff. Open air, like. <laughs> Hi, Lori Halverson. I'm from New Hampshire. I'm not in the ice cream business yet, but I hope to be soon. Um, again, just because it brings such joy to people, and I would like to do that every day. There you go. And where you currently live? Where you gonna open? If you open a shop, where you gonna open it at? I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> okay, that's no problem. All right, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Kamisha with K's Paints and Scoops from Memphis, Tennessee, and this is Glenn Wilson. Mm -hmm. And we I'm are, the dad. Dad, okay. He's, I'm the dad. He's the dad, the op logistics operations, <laughs> all of that. But um, we are in Memphis. We make our ice cream, we package it and distribute it. So we focus mainly on wholesale and manufacturing. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in business? We've been in business two years. Mm -hmm. And what made you get into the frozen dessert business? Uh, our love for ice cream. So I was doing it just for fun over a few years and the pandemic happened and from there, we started uh, making it, and then I would tell, put it on Facebook, like, hey, I'm making these flavors, come get some. And people would tell us what flavors to make, and they would buy it, and then we would meet it and drop it off for them. So Good that's stuff. how we got started. Good stuff. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Yeah. See you around. All right, bye-bye. Right. Where are you guys from? Georgia. We are from Georgia Chocolate Factory. We've been in business for a little bit over a year. This is our second Cone Con um, conference, and we are looking forward to learning all kinds of things that we can learn. It's been a great journey so far. So much fun. Huh? Yep, and we got into yes. the business because we're best friends, and we both have the same dream and goal to open a little fudge chocolate ice cream shop. And so uh, we're down in Nina, Georgia. Come see us. There you go. Thank you all for coming. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, old fashioned ice cream. Uh, from time to time, we run into we run into people who don't want to be on the camera. I understand everybody don't want to go on YouTube, but we have a, a nice young lady right here. I can let her introduce herself. And this is Concode 2024. And we're gonna have her actually uh, tell you about why she's here. Go right ahead. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. I'm with Katie Creamery. I'm actually here because I'm building up my business. Um, I've only started filing paperwork, but I really want to get into selling ice cream wholesale. Okay. Uh, what, what made you uh, choose ice cream? Um, honestly, it was something I kind of just got into. My mom bought me an ice cream maker years ago, and I kind of just started making ice cream, and everyone loved it to the point where they said that they wanted to pay for it. So, you know, it became a, a stress reliever and um, something that, you know, I felt really... Uh, Helped me like be creative, so yeah, I decided to go into business. That's good stuff. So uh, you decided to come to Concord and learn more about the ice cream business before you jump into it. Yes, yes. I'm currently in like the midst of starting it, but I knew that uh, the convention had a lot to offer in terms of knowledge, and so I felt like I should definitely be here. Thanks. Good meeting. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice almost my whole life. My first job at 16 was at a frozen yogurt shop. Kind of went direction, different direction for a few years. And then just in the last couple of years, I got back into a, a Babcock Dairy Store in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, love working with the kids, love working with ice cream. Uh, we also have cheese there too, but nothing, nothing wrong with working in the ice cream business. You always have happy customers. All right, I thank you.
have a good time. You bet. Thank you, Mike. So I've been in business for 43 years. Started as a small ice cream parlor in Sanford, Maine. And we have 500 locations that we supply throughout uh, the New England area. And uh, we have a, a big scoop shop that we have and make 100 different flavors of ice cream and it's phenomenal. And this is a great uh, place for me to talk to people and uh, tell them what I know and learn a ton from them. What made you want to get into the ice cream college? Uh, I'm not sure. I was only 18 and of course I was, you know, I was young, inexperienced, and crazy, so I'm not really sure the answer to that. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're welcome, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> uh, hey, how you doing? Like I said, I go around and try to interview people from all this at different stages in their ice cream journey. My name is Michael Sneed. I'm with Old Fashioned Ice Cream. I have a YouTube channel called Plans Boot Camp. Also one at my store called Old Fashioned Ice Cream. I just want to ask people, uh, how long you been in the ice cream call business, and what made you get into it, and where are you located? So we're located out of Macon, Georgia, okay. but we operate mostly in the Atlanta area. Okay. Um, so we're a frozen drip Italian ice. We sell water ice. Um, we've been in the business, originally it started in 2015. Yeah. I started with a push card, just an idea that I saw. Mm -hmm. Did a little research on it. And then we met. Uh, there you go. Uh -huh. And then we rebranded the whole business. Yeah. Uh -huh. She made it better. Uh, there you go. So, oh, you, know, you. you know, you know, <laughs> and, uh, She's an artist originally, okay. so like, you know, she came up with the different menu I ideas and specialty cuts that we present. So it's a it's, it's a better layout, it's a better business, it's more profitable. Mm -hmm. You know, the business has grown over the last two years. Mm -hmm. So I would just say, if you ask me when we started, we're just gonna say two years ago. I just go two years ago okay. because this is the new brand. You yeah. know what I mean? So and it's the growing, it's growing. Br Further than where I was. You know, okay. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the name of y'all ice cream? Uh, Frozen Drip Italian Frozen Ice. Drip, yeah. Italian Ice. There you go. Yeah. Good stuff. The best Italian ice in Southeastern. In the Southeast. Southeast. There you but if go. you're coming to Georgia, nobody topping And where if they want to catch you all? Do y'all have like Instagram or something? Or? Instagram. Yeah, follow us at Frozen Drip Ice Frozen on Drip Instagram. Ice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you come to Atlanta, Georgia, come to Atlanta Station. Saturdays check, and Sundays. And check us out. There you go. Thank y'all. All right. No problem. Bye bye. My name is Kim Anglin. I am the proud founder and owner of Coco's Kitchen. Yeah. We specialize in vegan plant-based ice cream for dogs. I just got started in this business. I had a very long career in corporate, over 15 years as an HR executive. I was most recently in asset management as the head of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And one of the things I really thought about was how do we create community? I became a pet mom and started making ice cream for her as she was teething and fell in love with both the concept and this business. So I'm here at my first conference to learn more about the business of making ice cream so we can grow and, and scale. You can find us online. We're in e-commerce at discovercocoskitchen.com. Okay, thank you. <laughs> my name is Doreen Spicer Danley and I am just an ice cream enthusiast. She said, don't say Jess. <laughs> um, but I have a new story. My first book is called Love Double Dutch mm. on Penguin Random House. Um, my second book, I don't know when, or, mm. but it should be coming pretty soon. Mm. So I'm just scouting uh, black owned, female owned, mm. LBGTQ owned mm. uh, places that I can have my next book signed. Okay, okay, yeah. good stuff. So. <laughs> good stuff. I have to get you down to Selma, North Carolina. Oh, we're in Richmond, Virginia. Mm. Uh, we've been in business now for two and a half years and wanted to do something with family. Mm -hmm. And ice cream just happened to be that thing. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy working with family, but what's better to do together than ice cream? Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. How long y'all been in business? Two, Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's good stuff. Yeah. I love it. Now, where can they reach you? All y'all got uh, brick and mortar, or we have a brick and mortar? Uh, where's your location? Richmond, Virginia, seventy-two fourteen Hull Street Road, Richmond, Virginia. Okay, yep. so if you're in that area, go check them out. Y'all got any social media, anything they can they can take y'all on? Yeah, along? we're on Instagram, Facebook. Um, Soon to be TikTok. Soon to be TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do our thing. Um, um, pretty cool. Learning new flavors um, and 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 get doing better with older flavors and so forth and so on. So yeah, social media loves what we do. Yeah, we make all our ice cream, homemade, homemade cookies, homemade paletas. Yeah. Uh, and we're always adding. 
Okay. Um, what, what is, what's next? Uh, cinnamon cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. There you go. <laughs> Where this, it's one of the most it's one of the most um, challenging challenging projects because it, it's a labor of love literally uh -huh. like it takes four hours just to proof because it's a two step uh -huh. two two step proofing uh -huh. so you proof the dough then you proof the actual rolls uh -huh. and then you bake uh -huh. and that's a long time but uh -huh. I enjoy it because it's just um, it's a challenge there you go yeah so the challenge is just like ice cream was a challenge to us. Um, this is a challenge. So. Oh, okay. yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate yes, it. And what's the name of y'all store again? Bubs and Gracie. Bubs and Gracie. Ice, cream, cream, and ice cream and cookies. Thank y'all yep. so much. Absolutely. Enjoy. It. All right, bye bye. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Joe Osborne from uh, Mojaz. Uh, today is actually our launch day, so it's our first day in the ice cream industry. Uh, what made me get in the ice cream industry is there's a dozen different kinds of uh, cones for ice cream, but there's not a single cone for uh, shave ice or water ice or Italian oh, ice. Wow, okay. So we got the Mojaz Gummy Cone launching today, so uh, please hit us up and we'll, uh, we'll, we're happy to work with you. Thank you. Hey, that's amazing. I never <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, so you all who do Italian ice, water ice, shaved ice, you got a cone for you. Oh, there man. you go. Thank you. Oh, Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right. Hey, how's it going? My name is uh, Philip. My wife Sibs. Uh, we're from Sunday School. We're based out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I think one of your questions was, why are we getting ice cream? Yes. Um, keeping it real, I hated my job. <laughs> I needed to do something else. Uh -huh. Trading dollars for hours, working a nine to five mm -hmm. for the next thirty years, just didn't seem appealing to me. Mm -hmm. And now we're just, you know, trading our time for smiles. Uh, ice cream is something that makes people happy. You normally don't see a face like this that's doing mm -hmm. that. Uh -huh. So we're happy to be in a different space and kind of making our impact. Okay, good stuff. And where can they find you? We're in Virginia Beach, Virginia, uh, off of Kempsville Road, very close to Regent University. Yeah, that's where yeah. we are right now. You can find us on, uh, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, anywhere. Yeah. It's going to be uh, Sunday Scoop VA. Mm -hmm. That's S-U-N-D-A-E Scoop VA. There you go. Good stuff. Thank you all. Thank Appreciate you. it. It's called Smates uh, Smoothies. Smates is the acronym for Smoothies and Yogurt Shakes. Uh, I teach, and I teach nutrition. Okay. So I wanted to go in and do something similar to that. Mm -hmm. We open up in the summer of 2025. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's, it's like my retirement plan, transition from one thing to the next. Mm -hmm. There you go, good stuff. And where are they going, you know where you're going to be located at yet? Well, we have a food truck. We've been working with a private school, and we're also going to have a location on the college campus. Okay. Yeah, we're negotiating them. I appreciate it, man. We're looking out for you. Got any way they can contact you? Are you on social media or anything? Uh, we, this this is my card right here. Okay. All right, with a website and everything on it. Thank you. Okay, so my name is Kimiko Spencer Wells. People call me Kim, and I've been in the Italian ice business for two years. The name of my business is Icy Chicks, and that's I C Y C H I C S. Um. I started this business because I was in jeopardy of losing my job. I've been with my company for about 15 years and we were acquired by another company and um, I was about to be on the chopping block mm -hmm. and I went to a festival and I wanted some icy. I'm like, I want some icy and mm -hmm. I didn't see any. So I'm like, okay, I put that in the back of my mind and then at, when I found out I would be losing my job, I was like, what can I do that I can easily manufacture and make money and possibly cover my, my my bills and I thought about oh the icy I didn't have any I can do that I can learn how to do it and that's how I got in the business so two years I have a mobile business a food truck mm -hmm. and again it's icy chicks so that's my story <laughs> <laughs> and here I am at, ICE, at Cone Con 2024 well, thank you this your first time first time first time yes. you're awesome thank you so much you're welcome uh